a former science guy turned Planetary Society CEO, Bill Nye, has some free advice for President Trump. His nonpartisan space interest group has issued five recommendations for the new administration as it takes the reins of NASA. Some we know Trump intends to leave in place, like the goal of a manned mission to Mars. But other areas like science research, not so much. Trump wants to forge a new path and cut spending. Nye joined us from Los Angeles to explain why the Planetary Society offered its advice to Donald Trump. What's happened a few times in the past, previous administrations have just chopped an existing program and start it over. But we think all the programs that are in work right now are worthy or worthy enough to keep in, in the pipeline and then keep Mars, the planet Mars, this is like a real thing, keep the planet Mars as the focus for human spaceflight. Why, so why Mars? Can... Why is that so important? I mean, the, the, there's been an argument, of course, with the, the, uh, the alternate argument that says singles and doubles are important. Let's get lots of data. Let's get lots of science. Let's not sink so much of the budget into such an expensive thing like a trip to Mars. Uh, well, so two different things. Uh, the trips to Mars are actually quite reasonably priced uh, in the following sense. So I'm talking about robots and rovers. And what I would like to do in my lifetime is send a rover sophisticated enough sterilized enough to drive up to one of the so-called recurring slope lineae. These are stripes running downhill that are clear or now it is agreed are a result of running water every Martian spring and we would sniff around, look around, microscope examine the ground for living things or evidence of living things. In the meanwhile, what gets people excited about space exploration is when humans go out there and so we want to get humans in orbit around Mars by, let's say, 2033. If you want to go earlier, 2028, all good. You only go to Mars every 26 months. You can't just go any time. You have to time it with the orbits. But we strongly feel this would bring out the best in us. It would be optimistic, and we would make discoveries that would change the course of human history. How so? Well, I claim that if we found evidence of life on another world, be it Mars or especially the moon of Jupiter, which we call Europa, which has twice as much seawater as the Earth, if we were to find evidence of life out there, it would be like Copernicus, showing that if you want to find the planets in the sky, think of them as going around the sun, not the sun around the planets. We have a current administration, and perhaps we'll see that the House and Senate do right now, but seem really intent on cutting funding for science and, and yes, cutting the budget at NASA, uh, but definitely turning it, and, and even looking at things like climate change as suspicious or even untrue. Well, the problem at NASA, that actually the proposal is to increase the budget, but there's a lot of talk about decreasing the Earth science budget, which is a big part of what NASA does. Even the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has its own satellites, but many of the instruments aboard those satellites are designed by experts, technicians and engineers and scientists at NASA. So uh, climate change is for some reason a political issue. From a scientific standpoint, it's just an issue, a big issue, the most significant issue facing humankind. But. Um, um, our belief is that if we advance space science and exploration at NASA, Earth science will get advanced as well. So we want to keep it all going, but uh, with respect to being anti-science, as much as that's being talked about and as serious as it is, NASA is the best brand, just from a statescraft point of view, just from the State Department's point of view. NASA is the best brand the United States has. So you can, invest, you can invest in NASA for this reason that's not scientific. It's just making or helping people around the world recognize the extraordinary expertise that's been built up here in the United States in space exploration. Is there, is there one science fact that Bill Nye the science guy would, would throw in the face of those doubting uh, things like climate change? Well, when it comes to doubting climate change, I encourage everybody to look at the ice. And by that, I mean look at the ice cores extracted from Antarctica and Greenland and um, so occasionally Siberia. And you'll see overwhelming, incontrovertible evidence that the Earth's climate is not just changing, it's changing fast. That's the big problem, everybody. It's the rate at which the climate is changing. 
And I don't, I mean, I would love to uh, get involved with all this, but it's humans that are causing it and the evidence is overwhelming. So the people who are fighting this are fossil, the fossil fuel industries or people the fossil fuel industries have hired. And I really encourage those guys, and they're almost all men, there's a couple of women, I really encourage you all to think about your kids and especially your grandkids. You do not want to leave them a world where people just have to up and move. Uh, um, our arable land has to move in North America, has to move north. We have to start making new deals with our neighbors to raise enough food for the world. So you guys, this is a really serious issue and I hope everybody stops making it a political issue and just starts making it a let's get to work issue.